in the season. Really seemed like you could take away a lot of positives in that fourth quarter, you know, coming back from down 20 plus, cutting it into single digits. What are you hoping to turn from that fourth quarter into the game Sunday against Indiana? I think energy. Um, you know, I think one thing that we've touched on a lot from that fourth quarter and looking back is not only the energy of that um, starting group in the fourth quarter, but also the energy of the people coming off the bench. I think that was huge for us just in terms of no matter what, we know we have to fight. Um, you know, we're not a great enough team yet to, you know, kind of let let ourselves be complacent. Um, and that's exactly what we have to remember. We have to be at 100% 24-7 to win games. Where do you feel that ebb and flow of energy comes from? I think it's just how basketball works, honestly. You know, you're, one team makes a run, the other team is going to make a run, but we have to make sure that when that other team makes a run, we have enough energy to be able to turn it in our favor again. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you guys, three, three straight losses now. Um, how, do you, how do you find that you take losses, um, you know, personally? It's hard, yeah. um, you know, especially coming from high school. I mean, most of us, you know, we're, we were on great high school teams that are used right. to winning a lot. Right. Um, so it's, I can't say I'm used to it. I never want to get used to it. Yeah. But I also think it's, you know, as I say, a good learning experience for us. Um, as long as we learn from it, I think we're just going to keep getting better. Um, you know, the Big Ten is no joke. But the good thing about the Big Ten is there are actually a lot of teams that are very similar. Um, so we can take these losses and know that if we can learn from them, it will 100% help us beat teams in the future. Is that what is that what Katie's kind of, you know, preaching right now to, to look forward to? Definitely. I mean, we, you know, we are going out like we, you know, have to win every single game coming up. Um, so just that we need to know, you know, why we lost these past games and we need to, in practice every day, make sure that, you know, we're fixing those mistakes so we don't do it again. How does that set up, um, you know, this weekend as an opportunity then? Big, big crowd too. Mm -hmm. Huge crowd. It's really exciting, especially for me because this is my first time that will, like, I'll really get to see the Purdue Indiana rivalry from the floor. Um, okay. So I am so excited for that. But I think it's just an extra, it'll be a great way for us to kind of end this three loss streak and get into the mindset of this is a huge game for not only our team, but for Purdue. And so we have a lot of reasons to go into this game with a ton of energy and a ton of excitement. Yeah. Madison Layton talked about, you know, finding your identity. Do you feel that maybe that was found late in that third, fourth quarter when you started to make a run and, you know, really chip back at, at, at Penn State, you think? Um, you know, I don't know if we, I can say we really found our identity yet. Um, I think it's going to come in bits and pieces, and I think that fourth quarter is kind of the bits and pieces that we're looking for. Um, so whether we found it or not, I'm, I'm not totally sure yet, honestly, but I think the more we can have those moments of clarity and like this is how we want to play as a team, I think the more it's going to help us get to that point of finding and, and defining an identity. You're from the East Coast. What's the closest equivalent that you've had to an Indiana Purdue rivalry? <laughs> You know, at least during your high school career, that you can equate your ex that you can equate your experience Sunday to. Definitely. Well, from what I've heard, I can't equate it to anything. Um, <laughs> but my dad and um, two of my older stepbrothers actually went to Duke, so I am definitely familiar with the Duke UNC rivalry. Um, even though I didn't spend a lot of time kind of immersed in that rivalry, like I am here, um, but I really cannot wait to see what it's like. For sure. Uh, last question from me. Um, how do you feel that, uh, I mean, I'm hypothesizing here, but um, the level of shooting from the women's game is, has increased, mm -hmm. uh, you know, estimated that percentages are up. What does that say to the state of women's basketball to see so many good shooters out there and to see so much parity uh, in, in your game now? Yeah, I think, you know, I mean, it's great for the sport of women's basketball. I mean, you see one of the biggest draws of a game like the NBA and they play is they're incredible three-point shooters and they can dunk, right? And, you know, our game continuously has more girls who can dunk, but something that we can change pretty quickly is that is adding that three-point shot so consistently. I mean, you look at a team like Indiana, they have a team full of great uh, three-point shooters and that's something where, you know, we really have to lock in on for this upcoming game, but it is great for women's basketball and um, I think 
the more our team gets comfortable, the more you'll be able to see how many great three-point shooters we have as well. Thank you. And then uh, I talked to Lake and uh, Hazard Smith the other day, and she's uh, the recruiting assistant. Um, how, how how have your interactions been, and how was that? Um, you know, as you were recruited, um, you know, throughout the process. Of course. Um, so I mean, Lakin is incredible, and we have yeah. so many great recruits coming in, um, and a lot of them will actually be present for the Indiana game, which is exciting. Mm. But. For me, I mean, my recruiting process, I, I have no complaints with my recruiting process at Purdue. Um, Purdue recruited me really hard. I knew exactly what Coach, uh, Coach Katie wanted from me, um, and I knew exactly coming in. While I did commit to a different uh, support staff um, that ended up you know, not being here now, I absolutely love the support staff we have with Coach Kelly and, um, and Coach Mark. But... You know, I really can't complain. It was a great process, and they recruited me hard, and that's why I'm here. So. Yeah. Uh, how how early were they were they talking to you? Um. So I think it was. Um. The beginning of my sophomore year. Okay. Um, of high school. Yeah. They come out to games and stuff. And stuff. They did. They. Yeah. One of. Uh, my family and I. We talk about it. We always laugh because. Uh, one of our greatest memories of Purdue and one of those reasons that you kept coming back to when I was making this decision was they, every single AAU game I played, whether it was, you know, a game that we knew we were going to blow a team out by 100, there were all three coaches on the coaching staff there ready to watch me. You know, they said, they're like, we, we couldn't care if you, <laughs> if you barely score. Like, we know we want you and um, we want you to know that we are here and we are ready to support you in any way we can. So and that pretty much sealed the deal for me. <laughs> who, are, who are those three? Uh, Coach Katie and then when um, Coach Scruggs and Coach Beth were here, okay. Um, okay. those. But, I mean, really, the, the commitment from those two has just carried on to the, the yeah. new support staff. They're great. Cool. Thank you. Yeah.